Okay, so our very last thing we need to go over in regard to infrared spectroscopy is how to run a liquid and also kind of how to clean up a little more. How do you clean up? Okay, um, this is my cell that I ran at the very beginning in the first film and I made a film on top of it of a solid. And I want to clean it, okay? The way you clean your cell is you take a squeeze bottle of dichloromethane and you also need Kim wipes. They'll be in the hood when you come in. And we have a container for halogenated waste. Dichloromethane is halogenated. It has halogen atoms in it. So what you do is you run dichloromethane over the cell and then take a Kim wipe and dry it off. And again, you can't wash sodium chloride cells in water, right? You can't do that. If you do it, it'll dissolve. We're going to have little traps on here when you come in so you don't drop the cells into the tanks. It's real easy to do that. I almost did it. I'm going to clean it a little more. I have kind of shaky hands, so I tend to drop things. All right, so I get this cleaned off. Watch it with dichloromethane. Sometimes it goes through the gloves. If it's going through the gloves, your hands will burn. You should immediately take the gloves off and wash your hands. Now, I'm going to run a liquid. For the liquid, I need two Oreo cookies, okay, two sodium fluorides. What will I do? I'm going to get a fresh pipette. I'm going to take a drop of ethanol, okay, I'm just using ethanol as a prototypical liquid. Now, you're not going to be running liquids this week. You will run liquids in experiment four, so I'm going to have you review this film right before experiment four. Okay, but this is a typical liquid. It's ethanol grain alcohol. What you do is you put a drop on the cell. In this case, I don't want it to evaporate because it doesn't have any solid in it. I want to run the spectrum of the liquid. So I take the other Oreo cookie and I put it right down on top of that ethanol to trap some of it between the cells. Then what I want to do is go over to my instrument, same deal. What do we do first? Take our glove off, okay? Scan, background, execute. Okay, is this a good background? You should be able to evaluate that by now, okay? Um, now I'm going to run the sample. I have to put the sample up on the um, prongs. This time I'm putting the whole Oreo cookie up, two Oreo cookies with some cream in between, okay? The cream is ethanol. I want to run a spectrum of that ethanol, so what do I do? Scan, X, execute. It's running. Okay, now, what's wrong with this spectrum? Think about it. It's way off scale. So what do I have to do with it? I have to rescale it. I'm going to take this button because it's too vertically expanded and I'm going to bring the expansion down and I'm going to move it up so I can see it. I'm going to keep bringing it down a little more. This is a very nice spectrum of ethanol. Liquids are very easy to run um, as are films. This is an OH peak. These are CH peaks and then this is very characteristic of ethanol. And in class, we're actually going to look at something similar to this. Now, once again, if I want to print the spectrum, I don't hit print, I hit plot. So I would hit plot, and it should plot. Okay, and it's going to start plotting, and we'll wait for that. Okay, so now it's plotting. Um, and cleaning-wise, again, I would remind you that what you do is you take the cells, and the reason I'm reminding you of this is because we, cells very, very seldom get cleaned. That's something we've noticed. Um, you take the cell, you rinse it with dichloromethane, and I'm dropping it, which is not good. And you dry it with a Kim wipe, okay? When your cell is clean, you can either reuse it if you need to reuse it, or it should be placed 
back inside the desiccator. It should not be left out in the room. If it's left out in the room, it'll pick up water. So again, I hope this wasn't overkill with all these little videos, but our goal is to have you um, come in and feel more independent, and at the end of the day, when there are 12 people trying to use each instrument, things will move along a little better. We are going to help you. The TAs are going to help you. I'm going to help you. If something didn't make sense, we'll do it again over and over and over until you get it. But anytime you want to review it, you can. This is a um, the IR printed of ethanol. Okay, so I'll see you in lab. Bye-bye.